greatest. No follow-ups from that. He just had to check and see if uh, yeah. if he was there. <laughs> you know, did uh, did I'm hit below the cheat codes? Yeah. <laughs> just game shark. Oh, speaking of game shark, I thought we had our oh, modern shark game. There it is again. I mean, the nature of the the float floating matchups, I guess, is that he can just whistle through these attacks and forward smash. It has a relatively low end lag, so I mean, if you throw it out and they're it, they're not right in front of you for them to hit, it's probably gonna be safe enough that it's worth throwing out at least. It's gonna, you know, it's kind of gonna make Armana be just that much more disciplined or that much more execution intensive. Like, yeah. a little, a couple of frames late might just be a whistle that reverses the whole situation for him. I'm hit though with a really commanding lead so far. About to lap Armando in percent and shields that uh, dimensional cape. And you can see uh, Armando's game plan is gonna be in this matchup. If he gets I'm hip off stage. That's where Meta Knights like to play. And he Ooh. saw him go really aggressive, man. But I'm hit, you know. He didn't get the loser's finals for no reason. He's so hard to get, you know, get pinned down off stage. Yeah. You think you have him, but he's slippery and he texts it and he's still alive. Is he gonna tech it again? Dude. What is happening? He that's his full he's, reversal. He's been practicing. Because I'm <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure he had to have held down in those situations. Right. He was at such high percent already that. I mean, the next one is going to be untechable no matter right. what. He's not even going to need a stage spike because if he gets a shuttle loop. Right. Still down by a full stock, though, in this first game. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hip like he's practicing some Dillas Pro from back oh, in yeah. the day, just teching <laughs> everything. Uh, Armada just trying to desperately open him up. There's that whistle we were talking about. You know, just a frame or two too late is all that means. There it is again. That's got to be frustrating. Oh, that yeah. was, that's frustrating. You get the forward smash trade, and, you know, I'm hip just barely able to get the forward air out in time. All right, there's a shuttle loop. That's enough to take. Very good. Yeah. Very good aggressive options. Armando able to connect it. pulling himself right back into the game with only 26% on his body. Yeah, you thought he would have been out of it after that SD. Yeah. But he's right back in it. There's a uh, there's mock tornado on the field, All right. and that was a really smart way to use the mock tornado to right. land on the platform. It made it uh, way more safe than it normally is. Uh oh, oh, evasive maneuvers coming out from my hip. Oh, this could be trouble. All right, good damage coming out. He's gonna want to drop down below this platform to remain uh, unpunished. Oh, that was unfortunate. I've had no Pikmin at that point. Couldn't really counter hit, even though he got the parry. Oh what? my god, he parried the dimensional cape into a forward smash. <laughs> I'm hip is a madman. Cause yeah, like, I'm talking about risk reward. Dude, right yeah, there. for <laughs> real, dude. Like, so people like, are like, <laughs> I don't think you should parry because it's not worth it. But he went for it anyway. I'm just like, nah, I'm going to parry dimensional cape, dog. <laughs> there's no risk if you just get it every time, right? Uh, speaking oh, of getting it every time, there's dude. a purple loss smash. That'll put away the stock every time. Snap. Man, there's game one for I'm hip. You know, I'm but. Hip. That's a, that was some good play from Armando to, you know, after trying to do his, the best that he could to put in all the all the hits in the SD. Yeah. He's still able to battle back and make a game of it. So let's look to that game, too. If Armando's able, you know, able to channel that last stock to Armando and keep that momentum running, maybe he's able to answer back and uh, make this 1-1. But, of course, if you're I'm hip, you're looking to go up 2-0, be in control of the set, right back to Pokemon Stadium 2, opening up game 2 and losing finals. And back to the game plan. Oh, there's the purple white lineup coming out. Purple blue white. And Dude, it just it, it, <laughs> it doesn't it seems so hard to get a combo on uh, Olimar in this yeah. matchup. Especially cuz the, the the timing for these uh up air strings is, is so tight. Right. Uh, if you're not on point, you're, you're just going to get out of it for free. And be in a really advantageous position right. as he lands below you. And Armando just been throwing out dimensional cape at neutral or like in the advantage state over and over He's again. Like, Dude, parry it again. You won't. <laughs> He's trying go. to show Shuttle. that one was a fluke, yeah. right? <laughs> Shuttle loop once again, closing it out, and Armando taking the first, his first lead of this set. Right. And a really good one at that, only 64%. Oh, oh wow. But he's going to want to avoid situations like those because he's definitely already well into kill percent. Yeah, it's that rock, paper, scissors with Almar that you play. You kind of dash up and shield the forward smash, spot dodge the grab, uh, yeah. you know, play hit for hit right there. I uh, tried to mix up his landing, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm hip was ready there to get that grab and throw him back up into the sky. Yeah, the old reliable, the two blue. Two stocks. And he's got the white on oh, putting damage, oh. and that's 60 damage and 
two seconds. I think that's 30 DPS for our map for our map back home. <laughs> uh, oh my god! Just all right. He's got two purples and a blue now. Really good lineup. Uh, blue not going to be too useful for getting the kill right now, but at least he has the. Added but he needs it for range, the grab, yeah. right? Oh, uh, Armando Fearless is going under those purples. And had I'm in a little bit of trouble, even got him to commit to an early air dodge. Not quite able to capitalize on it. Ooh. Nice. But aggressive back here. Yeah, going right to the side of Armando uh, and getting that stock. And he oh. farmed those Pikmin. He threw away a purple, threw the purple the other way, and then turned around and grabbed with the blue to set that up. And that was all while Armando was on the ledge. And that's that's the thing that, like, I mean, if, if you're a viewer or a player, that's something you got to get used to in all of our matchups because it's something that you're not used to paying attention to in other matchups. So even at home, you might have missed that right. entirely, right? But he's constantly cooking. If he's throwing a Pikmin off the stage, that wasn't an accident. Right, there's a reason. Yeah. <laughs> he's got that blue bag, and uh, he's, he's trying to get a spot dodge read right there. Now, Armando's got a little trouble. Oh, the purple got didn't get hit. Or uh, got missed by the invincibility on ledge. I'm hip tried to use it to cover as he returned, but not able to. And that whole entire, just that one exchange caused him to lose a stock. Oh, oh, uh -oh. oh. Mock Tornado? Oh. There it is. I was going to do it to put away the stock, yeah. like the, the OG Twitter yeah. combo. <laughs> the day one, the, no, the day, the day make, negative, day 14. negative 15 <laughs> make Twitter combos. Almost got it. Oh. Then it would have been time he, to ban that he, at that yeah, point. He, had to <laughs> done it. He, he needed to do it for the culture, man. Oh. Uh, you got to risk it sometimes. And, um, you know, hey, if he got it, he would have won. He, he would have won it. But sometimes you don't. There's that risk reward. And the reward for I'm hip is 2-0. Yeah. And, you know, it's uh, moving up 2-0 in the set for sure. They're going right back. And this is loser's final. So our eight, uh, Armando's potential last shot here to uh, bring himself back into the game. And yeah, we got to talk to our producer, Javi, and ask him, what's, what are the stakes here right now? Uh, winner, winner gets what? What does second place uh, get more like? What, what level money match how, are we talking about? How much here? money is, is on the line right Cause now? Because we've got some big pots coming in through with like, all the players. There's a, you know, it's a 90-person tournament. Oh, yeah. I would have killed for these back in the day. You know, 2011, this would have been, been a score and a half. <laughs> but, you know, Armando's got a long way to go if he wants to keep his tournament hopes alive. Because all the players are, you know, as much as they want the money, they're in it to win the tournament for yeah. the pride a lot of the time. So. Yeah, mo most, mostly that. Let's see if he's able to battle back and make a, make a set of it. Like I win a tournament every day with, <laughs> at work, right? So it's <laughs> with my job. Oh, okay. oh, a little... Interesting option. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah, the ledge re grab, no invincibility, foreign smash, and maybe a missed te technical input there from I'm hip. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be uh, really beneficial for Armando right here to rack up his damage and potentially establish a lead. Right. Yeah, it's got to be, a, you know, from a pacing standpoint, it's it's really hard, especially against Almar playing from behind. It's so difficult. It just uh, gives Almar so much control of just kind of uh, the meter of the match. Right. Oh my god. Is that a white? Oh, that was like. Was it? Yeah, I think it was a white. Yeah. He didn't have to throw immediately. Up throw, yeah. and that's but it. That, that should do it. <laughs> That'll kill. There's the blue again. Yeah, now we get some stats on that. How many kills does uh, I'm hip get from purple uh, forward smash? And how many does he get from blue? Uh, he's, he's blue throw. Like, his, uh, you know. If, Efficiency rate with with grabs to, to kills is, is insane. Like when his opponent's at kill percent, he has a blue. There's like a 95 percent chance he's gonna get that grab. <laughs> and it, uh, that's the hard part. And you know, it's like as a player, you're like man, he's gonna go for the blue grab. Right, yeah, you're, I'm you're, gonna play anti grab, but he's still getting grabbed. He's still doing it. <laughs> that's just another another mark of how great I'm hip is. Yeah. Uh, AC or Armando answering with an up smash right there. Yeah, he's just you know. It's really hard to tell like what Armando's doing just to even uh, keep uh, keep ahead or keep up just because we've been talking so much about the uh, you know the magic of I'm hit but Armando is just yeah. being the player he needs to be at all times just to, at least this game to try to make a game of it and he's sitting in a lead coming into this last stock. Yeah. So the lead is starting to dwindle away yeah. ever so slightly though with uh, I'm hip racking up this damage and Pikmin tosses and Pikmin latches. Ace. Oh, here we go. Now he's in business. Yeah, this is what AC needs right, right. I'm hip, just trying to be elusive. Gets the tech. 
Oh, but a good left drop neutral there. Oh, wow. And I'm hit fortunate to get back right there. It took so much damage. And what was just kind of, you know, a manageable lead is now a sizable, comfortable lead yeah. for Armando. Yeah, even if he loses his stock right there, which he probably should because yeah. he <laughs> shuttle loop right in the middle of the stage. Questionable shuttle loop. <laughs> yeah. But hey, if you, have a, if you have the rage, that might have been the time to go yeah. for it. Because it doesn't make sense to do it now because it won't kill. But when you have that much uh, percent on you, sometimes it's worth to go for the kill option, right? Now it's easy. Here's, the, here's the riddle. How do you put away Olimar with Meta Knight? Even if you have the lead, it's still tough. All right, chasing them off the stage, gets a forward air, push them back off. Let's see if my mom has the answer. Let's yes, see that should be enough. Air. There it is. And he broke through the ice. He's uh, opened up the set, and we're coming into game four. There won't yeah. be a shutout. No tonight. shutouts here. At game four, Armando just solid play all around. And it wasn't even like, there's really nothing that you can name other than like just the edge guardian. Yeah. If you can get I'm hip off stage, it's, yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah. a business. That's, the, just... that's uh, the name of the game for sure. And we're going and to, we're going to Albert? F.D. Albert. <laughs> F.D. Albert. That's yeah. like, Ome wait a second. Omega <laughs> Albert. He, need, he needs the power up. He needs that home turf. I wonder if Pikmin in this game have different, oh, no, never mind. There's not random puck rates. In Brawl, there's different different terrains have different puck rates. Oh, so really? they counterpick different stages. It would, like, based off the terrain oh, color, it would change. Like, Omar you know, was already good in that game. Why would they do that? <laughs> Why would they do that? That's uh, funny. But not in this game, I forget. It's a, it's a set. That's, so. a neat, that's, a, that's a neat little, like, detail, but, yeah. like, The evolution of these characters. <laughs> like, uh, nope. Oh, my God. Is that oh, going to do dude. it? Oh, dude. Dude. Oh, there you <laughs> he go. He landed on the halberd <laughs> in the back. That's hilarious. Oh, my God. That's actually, this is my first time seeing Omega Halberd, oh. and that's cool to see that, like, the actual ship is uh, in the back of the stage. Yeah, it might have been a mistake on Iron Hill's part oh, because he's God. not been... He's not landed really. He's, uh, he went straight from the invincibility platform to flying through the stage, and uh, Armando giving him no rest for the weary. <laughs> yeah, already at 80% on his second stock, and Armando chasing him deep with his right. neutral air. And there's a back air. It's going to be enough to close it out. Armando sitting are, are we looking three, at a three stock? At like, 26% on his first stock? Dude, what? this is a different player. Yeah. What happened? What happened to I'm Hip from the first two games? What happened to Armando from the first two games? Armando just figured it out. He's like, I need to hit the Olimar, and I got this. Yeah. And oh my god, he's got him off stage again. And that's that's what we were saying. If Armando's able to get him off stage, that's where the damage is done. And I'm Hip has not not been on the ground. We gotta get the airtime on airtime counter on this match. <laughs> I told him, hit, hit, don't hit A fast. We gotta see what the airtime was. Ground time's gotta be one third of his airtime. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> And that's honestly like the fact that he is in the air so much is is, is what's getting him all this percent, right. getting him all this damage. He's able to evade I'm Hip's uh, Pikmin a lot more easily and throw out a hitbox at the same time with up air. Oh, and he got the raw shuttle loop too. Oh, not enough. This is a statement game, man. Wow. wow. All right, well, you know, if you're I'm Hip, you can kind of laugh that one off and just say, well, it couldn't have gone any worse that game. Let's yeah, get right absolutely. back into it. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're Armando, you got to be thinking from a momentum standpoint, man, that couldn't have gone any better. I'm Let's get man. game five rolling yeah. out. He's thinking I'm the man right now. Yeah. Yeah, hey, you know, this is why we play five, right? Because if that were a best of three, this set was over like, you know, 10 minutes ago before Armando showed up Bef to play. Before, yeah, before he even woke up. Yeah. And now he's here, he's ready, and we got a match of it. Tell your friends, Losers Final, Wednesday Night Fight, CT Lux and Edmund on the microphone. And we got we got a close one. I'm deep in thought. Yeah, you know. trying to pick his stage, and he's going to go right back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Starter Stadium. That's, that's that's what I like to call it. Yeah, hey, that's where he's getting his wins, right? Yeah. Uh, but of course, Armando was able to get his own win on it uh, on it game three. So let's see what happens. You know, it's gonna be a you know, can I'm hip control the stage and stay grounded, or is Armando gonna soar to victory? I mean, even if I'm hip stays grounded, it's not really gonna mean much. And that and it's like you said, like that's kind of Olimar's thing. I feel like is is playing from the ground a lot of the time, but. With uh, Armando just kind of floating around, throwing out down air, forward air, up air. It's really just like cutting, literally cutting through the pick. Right. Yeah. It's like the download's complete, and we're back to the same story. That white Pikmin did put on damage. Oh, good neutral air to get back on. A very good dark break. Empty hop into the grab. Waits for the roll on the platform. Doesn't punish uh, quick enough, though. 
And I'm hit already doing more damage than the last game. And he's back to the stage. And he's got a he's got a blue out, so be careful for that. He's getting to that percentage where it's gonna be a little day. Oh my god, a great purple. He knew the shuttle that Meta was gonna shuttle it back. And let's see, all oh, there, yeah. He caught Armando uh, slipping yeah. a little bit. Had that blue ready to go. And I'm hip with the lead coming into the second soccer for Armando. Dash attack into the late shuttle loop from Armando. Still yeah, didn't even hit the early one. Yeah. Just got the, the late second one, Rez the DI. And and back here, and back we're pretty here. even. Just enough, yeah. I mean, by, by all uh, intents and purposes, this is definitely an even game. Dash attack might even do enough. And Armando Ooh. so aggressive, just keeping I'm hip off balance off stage. There's the white Pikmin putting in damage. Uh, fortunately, he was able to shake it up. He has such a good tool. I mean, because that neutral air kind of covers his entire her box. Yeah, the weed whacker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the buzzsaw, right? Just That's the really neutral airs out. Yeah. Perfect garden tool. And you see, you know, just I'm hip trying to get that white on. There it is. Trying, and that'll put on the damage that he needs. Got a little bit of a red. And he's just cultivating that line slowly. Man, using the tip tip of the stage, just out of the dash attack. Miscalculated, there's a forward smash. Yeah. Armando, so close to putting the reverse 3-0. Yeah, only at 64% too. The way that things are going, he is very likely to rack up a quick another 20 or 30% at the very least. Okay, yeah. I'm having oh, to dig deep now. Jabs. why not? <laughs> I don't know if I'm here as an answer. It's, it's interesting, too, because it, I, I feel like it's actually probably a lot better in this matchup than it is in most uh -huh. other matchups, because if, if Pikmin are there, it's just going to like last a lot longer. Right. Oh, yeah. And went back to the tradition on the neutral air to cover the ledge options. And it's so close. Oh, man, this could be big for Armando. Good air dodge. Get back on stage, but let's see if Armando scouts that out in a later opportunity, in a Jumps later game. Right over the grab. Oh, here, here it we is. go. Opportunity no in whistle. The shuttle loop. That's and gonna kill. do it. Reverse 3 0. Ah, coming out even. Oh my god. Armando. Yeah, yeah, he's shaking his head. Yeah. Yeah, the, champ, the champ's knocked out. <laughs> We're gonna have a we're gonna have a new uh, a new play, winner here at Wednesday night fights. Third place finish for for the uh, previous champion. That's crazy. Yeah, what what a Still match! Good stuff. Yeah, yeah it's really uh, really <laughs> really hype set to watch.